up against Entropic. And look at this. Three CTs walking mid. Nickelback is not ready for this. Ah, oh, McCrad maybe can make it even. 4v4 at the moment. He can leave with an extra frag if Zipex gets hunted down. A nice find. Blame punishes and 1x bet heavily leaning towards Astralis, as does this pistol. They're into B right now. The fights can keep on coming for Lackey here. Zipex will grab one and there's just two remaining. Alien and Forrester, the heroes of the last map. Need to get it done in a two on four. He's trying to uh, exploit a way into an extra frag and thinks better of it now with the bomb on his back. He'll let Forrester try and work up ramp. But look where Farley is. He hasn't left this sandbag position over towards A the entire time and he, he's not really playing for info. Just the odd jiggle just to make sure they're not walking up on the upper deck on him. Forrester will be able to slink his way all the way through shore in towards the site and Farley is accounting for that. The rotation of blame is now greeting him and it is a two on two on A. Yeah, USP's favoured for some of these exchanges on that headshot box. Blame does take down Forrester and a nice oh. clear. Elian, good for that. He knows Blame's there and a couple of click opportunities have gone right. He's got 45 seconds to try and piece this one together. And uh, he's being hunted actually, Blame. Very push happy. He's had a great pistol there. That's four kills from Blame F. And you will hear it. When he finds those connections, Heku asking him a little bit about it is just not even something he considers and uh, attributes it to his role on the CT side. But yeah, he's got a voice in the server and in the studio. Yeah, good stuff here. I can't believe the clear. Elliot, very diligent right there to get that kill, but it was the only kill for Entropic within that round. And it will just be the Glocks with one Deagle and a Flash to try and make something interesting. Now, I'm curious to see how much of that mid crawl comes into play from Astralis on the gun rounds as well. We know Config will be playing this position, right? So he might want to get a bit of a move on and target some of the weak points here of the default from Entropic. Now, well, that's a Deagle kill over towards A. Glaive getting very push happy there. Alien's going to rip his skull off the shoulders. If they're able to scoop that gun up, it'll give them a second weapon to work with here. The Glocks, just the pea shooters, not really too much to be concerned about. Well, already the first two rounds, we've noticed that there is a bit of a lean from Astralis to deal with mid. Like they have three in the pistol, two initially on the gun, and I think that's just also by nature of the weapons they're up against. I agree with that sentiment. I think like it, you want to bully B early while you can. You can also use the range of these weapons, which Farley apparently doesn't need to use. He's going to push up real close, take down Nickelback. So back level 4-4, four, four, and as they ping pong across the map, Blame will find Crad stuck at the net. Cross oh, a chance, yeah. He wasn't far off. He gave him some clown hair with his crosshair. Oh! Yeah, that's not gone swimmingly. Well, he got people at the Deagle through the floor right there, so that was pretty cool from Forrester. There it is. Conf will get the final frag. The rifles be retained. Glaive should be getting a bit of a drop from one of his teammates here. Blame could drop him a rifle. Conf could do the same. They're both just under that 4K mark. He will be get given a famous from Whoa. config. So nice shot from Ellie in there. Yeah, I mean that's uh that's special. That's an orb line you typically take, but you know what? Why not take the uh, the discount orb, the seven hundred dollar hand cannon? Good for an opener, but Astralis definitely looking good for the closer. Let's see if we can get that first gun round under their belt, or if Entropic have something to say about it. They're leaning towards the A side. Lackey's responsible to head to head with Zip. And Glaive is not deterred at all around the smoke. Lackey profits. If they would get this, the B-side's open, but Config is there to respond. And all backpack, backpack, Nickelback is known. Dropping his util to try and reposition. This is threatening stuff from Config. He needs to reload. Are you really going to do this with just the US? Not the fight for you, Config. Config is playing is a so very wild. dangerous game. Finally gets the reload. Installed out Blame here as well. They might not be ready for the Tetris swing from Forrest to push up towards the white box. So juggling positions here. They're going to get caught off guard by this flash. So flashed. And then Molly is perfect for his hidey hole. Still no punishment though. Ah, Forrester does eventually put his name in the feed and config eliminated in round three. Blame is here. Good off angle. With left side gen smoke, he'll jump his own util. Have to go through this. Oh, perfect. Elian just sitting around on the sandbags is met by the spray. They are trying to pivot away. They've used all their nades here. They've just committed everything towards the B-bomb side. They've dropped back. They've given up the space. And now they're just going to settle into a three-on-three -three with 35 seconds left on the clock. I, I don't know what you do now, Entropic. I mean, you'd love a quick headshot onto Glaive from Crad, but not going to be given easily. You can see the jiggling motion of Glaive. He's not actively contesting. I say that as he decides he will in the off angle. 
19 seconds. He's actually leaning A. Just this cut of noise. He's got to do it all. Oh, Forrester has saved the site. With 10 seconds to spare and the rotate back is beheaded. The entropic flavor is unique. I can't believe they just cut all the audibles there and walked on in. Forrester is an absolute machine. That AK with two massive shots within this round. And Farley's actually considering this. He's going to give this one a bit of a look in. The fam is up close and personal, peering over the ledge. Long way down, my friend, as Nickelback isn't expecting a player already to be pushed past. So there's one. No kid is going to try and back off. And if he can find an M4, that would be nice. He's picked up a kit. There's an extra 400 bucks that we saved going forward. Blame will be able to rebuy. Zip's going to be very, very close to do so as well. And Farley will be able to drop a rifle. So important stuff here. But that was looking like Astralis' round. It got very chaotic for a moment there. You can see Zip. He's very brave to play on the wooden boards around a B Lurk Smoke. That, almost, that smoke almost completely negates this type of a play that Zip's going for. Because, well, the T's can use the cusp of that smoke to look on over. So a bit of a risk there goes punch. And that wow. is a... Blot and steamy into a very big affair up against Astralis. Playoffs do or die especially a map to the good for the Danes see how this one shapes up Glaive not going to be leaping down ramp this time but they are caged by that ramp smoke it's all about the reactions off the back of it do you drop a lurky smoke of your own again they come knocking on mid and again Astralis have invested into a they're already out config Ooh, he will be not long for this world only a 5-7 and he's lost his rifle support zip weapon recovered maybe config can fill this void Surprising to not see Lackey try and take a bit more space towards B on that kill. They know that Zip is the B defender here, but they're happy just to pivot back towards A, so containing any pushes across the map and Blames is the next they have to deal with here, up close and personal on the scaff. Got to clear him. Glaive in support as well. They do seem to travel in pairs, and Glaive on his jump across for info. That smoke tells everything they need to know. Blame booked. Glaive could be next. Strafes out, and you'll never guess who's finding him. Forrester has got the double entry into A. The rotate's on its way, one way or another. Forrester will find you. Jeez. Okay. Well, he's just ripping off scalps here, and he's doing it in all fashions. The CT side locking things down. Comfort going to be the next to fall. Lackey's bullet rings true as well. That'll be the thing. Is this kid? as it will just be five sevens across the board. Now, five five sevens. Five five sevens, fun to say. I haven't seen that in a while. The five seven does land that dink, just not quite close enough to finish the job. Lame is hunting. Lackey. Lackey, you hear this? I don't know, he's not acting like he did, but they are committing now. to A, and that smoke on bridge is gonna ruin their day. Hmm, which five seven skin do I prefer? Hmm. Well, that one uh, fell flat. There was a bit of Kevlar behind this as well. You can see Blame has head armor, config. Has Kevlar to his name. So this was was a feeling a bit more like a half investment, if anything. 2,400 into the next round. Scratching my head a little bit here as a desperate maneuver from Astralis nets them absolutely nothing. Can you explain where Lackey's rifle just went? Did he throw it away? He might have thrown it away because he's worried about dying. Like he could have thrown it off the map. Maybe Jay, the gun watcher. I'm going, I'm going down. Oh, look, where did he leave it? He's, he's decided he didn't want it. Instead, he wants to give them a kill. Not giving them anything right here. Might be a little bit worried about the bomb, maybe. Yeah, I don't want the Glock. My gun's a little bit better. It says zip and only just. All right, well, that works. One right now. He doesn't want to spend a penny. He wants to get that AWP out as early as they can. Let's see if Astralis can convince us and the chat for the 5 7. Oh, oops. Just hit the roof there. Wanted that one to land at the top of the scaf, but another Molly will do the trick. And Glaive, he's over towards Sandbag with a smoke. They love a good boost. The flight path's pretty ironed out now on Vertigo. You expect to see T's casting glances at the potential both left and right of this yellow. I think the way that they want this to operate is Glaive gets mollied, they drop the smoke, and then they all get glued towards yeah. that sandbag position. Like this. Just like that. Exactly like that. Wow. There's a counter, though, in the form of an aid. Crad does delete Glaive, and it's Crad that continues to keep things up. Oh, oh, Forrester, lazy clear. He's gone down too. There's a rifle now. This gets really bad. If Config could just do more damage, Lackey cut down to half. It's Zipex requested to clutch, and the fact he's faked gives Zipex a bit more room to stretch his legs. Not being held by Lackey's angle. He's been allowed out of Ellie. Oh, oh, he does strike timing. Got him, yeah. It's a cruel mistress's counter. <laughs> and there's one back for Crad. 
So this is the gap. Black is sticking out. He saw him. Oh. He saw him. Oh, oh, just as easy as that. This gets weird. A 1v1. Thankfully, Crad is here and post three misdirection and exploiting defaults with your half buys. Oh, oh, oh well, that's a nasty, nasty bullet straight to Glaive. Ellie and pre-aims. He's killed Glaive a couple times. There was the Deagle shot, and now there's that quick shot on the AWP. And Zip, you're in trouble, my oh, friend. should be a dead man. One single bullet through the board, and it'd be no, but there's the flash. They're all doing the Darzy mantles up. It's Lackey. Good for it. They don't have to commit, but you can see that they are kind of stumbling over each other to try and work out who will sell it. And it's none other than Forrester. Cut out of the round very early on. A little one-way smoke on default, sir. Nasty one, you get no vision, but your legs are sticking out. Problems here because Nickelback is so low. I, I say problems, actually, they're starting to gravitate towards this AWP, so HP not going to be a problem as Nickelback's dropped the naff and he's going to have a little bit of a look around and Farley has to be extremely concerned because he can get overrun in this position. He's on his lonesome, blame F's mid, config is disconnected from the pack on B. This is going to be hard for Farley to hold on to here. Not likely to retain this AWP, one and done. Seems like the most likely outcome, but they are starting to pivot. Bogdan's Law plays on through the peak. It's going to net him a kill. Needs to get away. Needs to tuck back as fast as you like here. Marley stops the swing. No oh, lackey. Caught lacking again this time. Now the bomb loose. And a hot Molly on top. Crad's flank is everything if they want to turn the tables now. Are we counting for this? Lame F. Oh, he's cut down Elian. So now even anticipating this flank from Crad. Loud, 15 seconds. How is he supposed to turn this around? Kills short, needs to plant. There can be disruption from config. Both sides, doesn't matter where you plan, unless Blame is too passive. That's a free frag. Astralis will leave, a triple kill out of Blame. Oh, comms off a little bit there. They didn't get the AWP back and it was just to the right hand side. So Farley has to operate now with just a run up here. One of the many weapons in Glaive's arsenal. He's trying to convince us of the UMP when he joined us on the cast. And he is continuing his walk. It's been spotted. Elian knows there's something awry here. Give it back, I dare you. Oh, and that's the end of that. That's what Elian was looking for. Glaive kind of committed on such a small slither of information. That's what the uh, T side orb presence can cage. Yeah, this is the thing. Now they're operating with a man disadvantage again, but there's no config to battle one back. Bit of a smoke as a one way on the top of the sandbag there, and he's actually using it in a different angle with Farley. He's got toes. And see that left side commit. Great catch from Obs as Config's down. Falls to Farley. And Erlian was missing his shot in the blind spot. He could get another through the top. Farley trying to exploit. But oh my lord, he's so susceptible to that shot. Lucky to have gotten away with that. A two-man advantage for Entropic. They cannot afford to lose this. They're walking into the stack as it stands. They need a fight here, right? If they just sit on the side, they'll get executed on. This is the fight, Forrester. Ready for it. Farley turning around and yeah, he was waiting for the flash. A bit of a miscom. Didn't quite manage to execute as intended. It looks like the call has been made to save the AK. Yeah, that right there, you're right. It must have been a miscom because the, the traditional flash, you didn't quite see where Blame throws it, but that flash lands. And when you're going for it early, if you're going for like a CT aggressive maneuver, you want to have your back right to the, I guess, the drop-off, yeah. right? So when you step on out, the flash pops behind you. Here, Farley's going through those same motions, but they're already close. It's like he has to wait for the flash to pop and then swing. It's a different fight, right? You're not looking for down the ramp. You're looking for a close fight there. And Forrester was blind. At least that's what the kill feed would tell us. But one back here from Entropic. And I think uh, Glaive's hijinks of aggression around that top hole and is going to come to a close here. Might have to start dropping off from Crane and playing behind the smoker in that facet because Elian is punishing them whenever they want to maneuver behind it. Just those eyes, those keen eyes with the AWP scoped on through, catching any little glimpse of darkness. And there it is, all five staying alive. So a bit of a bank now starting to be established over there for Entropic. Two saved guns in the conversation. Pace behind this, Forrester using that spawn and charging up short. Oh no, backs are turned. Sandbags could be next. Just like that, all of the scary prongs of this defense are gone. I Thanks no to bite Forrester, to yeah. No bite whatsoever. The two players who are left with the rifles in hand are two of the more passive elements of this side. 
Expect the kills to keep on coming. Alien with one, Nickelback another, and now it is just Config disconnected from the pack, trying to have a biff with Lackey, but he'll handle that. And two rounds in a row, five stay alive. Simple department. I feel like chains have overdone sweet potato fries. Now they don't do them crispy enough, and yeah. they just come soggy. Yes, so I don't soggy want this. sweet potato and soggy round for Zipex. How has he gotten away with that? A bit of a slip up. Quite a literal one. You can see the fall hazard. He was just nearly there. Oh, he's getting swung on here. Yeah, finally might be a dead man or not ready for Krad. Flames pushed down on A again here, and this didn't work for them last time. You might get flashed on through. I like this. I like this a lot. Elian doesn't as he goes down with a white screen. Finally a change up for Astralis. A two-man advantage here. Yeah, aggression may be the answer. Double incendiary. And still Forrester trying to find a gap. He's going to try and punish. Oh, Flame, surely vulnerable, does lose his head. And now A could be a problem. There's still a man advantage for Astralis. This changes, though, if Glaive... It's a weird smoke. Yeah, he's thrown out a bit of a freestyle smoke there, and Farley's going to have to try and fill this short gap. It's not worked out for him before. He's just going to hold it passively, and it should enable a bit of a reset. Farley needs to be so careful if he overlooks here and goes down. Given one over here, and it's Forrester again. Oh, that's Another double for him. It's a three-on-three three that is well and truly on. 45 seconds. A seems to be the side of affection Glaive right now. Glaive has to find more than one. Or break his silence at the very least. They can come round to Forrester. He's going to clear his corners this time. Or not. Flash both doing the dance. And now the advantage is back in Entropic's court. Astralis red faced. Hot under the collar. A reload required. And the bomb now planted. They should get away and play the advantage. Nickelback will be first contact. He can afford to get away as well. They really are in dire straits. Do you even go with no smoke? I think they should save right here. How, how do you get back into this? Config needs to find a miracle right now and getting spammed on through. Forrester finds three kills and the round already looks done. Yeah, I love this angle from Config, but oh, it's not going to get you far. They're going to double peek. And just as easy as that, Config, the last to fall. They lose everything exactly for that duel. You can see Forrester had the timing just a little off. Two-man B-Lean. Astralis are trying to mix it up with light weaponry. They have to try and find something here. Otherwise, in Tropic, they can run away. Posting double digits on T-side Vertigo is not too commonplace. Yeah, this was the problem with the veto, right? I was looking at the map pool. I was a little bit concerned because it felt like Entropic could have taken this to a multitude of different places. I was like, well, do they want to pick into du well, Dust2 got banned? Is it, there was no Inferno here for Astralis. You do see them taking it to Vertigo and showing a very strong Watch form out, here. the shark is in the water. Blame, swimming in his speedos. Forrester will throw out the Uted on his own. Is he going to do it all on his own? Or can Blame be the remedy every time? Forrester again with an opening kill. It's twice. We saw it with Farley. We, we now see it with Blame. They're not accounting for that close angle of Forrester here. And there could be more for him. He has been dinged somehow alive and kicking. Good nade. What a nade. What a nade off the floor. Oh, it's Deagles from Farley. He's made the round out of this. This one's on. Very much like Donkey Kong Lackey. Gonna give him a gorilla fist or not? Wow, Config gets away with that, and now Forrester he started this round well, but no HP. Again, catches Config's hunt. Can you really build anything out of this? The bomb is lost. You have zero health. There should be no way in. Didn't Stralis know it as well? It's their round to lose. Lovely threading of the needle so far. Two angles to be cleared. Worried about short. Too worried about short, and it does come to bite him. Farley gets the credit, though. To put the lethality in the server. Double orbs, that's the change up now. Config It's going to just be smoked and flashed off the B line immediately. The lurk smoke with the flash combo is enough to send him packing all the way back towards mid. And Farley, are you really oh, risking this? Imagine. We've seen what happens. Yeah, this We've is seen what happens. This is Elian's field day. He just waits. I can't see much, admittedly, now with all that smoke up. He may have lost his potency. But he wants to hold it. Many Orpers can do great things from this slither gap. And oh my god, Elliot does catch a glimpse. He's burning. He has to be go down. You can see the barrel. So much damage. Elliot trying to find an angle. And it does lead to his demise. Farley again puts his name in the feed, this time as an opener. Oof, took a Molly, took a HE, took some teammates, but they do get the kill. They get the scalp they're looking for. And does this stolen tropic out right now at seven? Will it be another consecutive round here for Astralis? I can't believe we're about to watch it go down again. Is Glaive gonna flash? Yep. It's going to be the same battle on short. Forrester and Nickelback this time. It's a 2v2 here. Flash thrown in. Nickelback blind. He's not quite as prepared. Forrester, the late arrival, unable to trade. That is the end of the round. Farley confirms it. Swing through, force of the hand. 
And just the two of them, Lackey and Crad, a whole five-man Astralis roster, and with info aplenty. That deagle round from Farley may be extending play significantly here. Bit of a miss. Flame is low. Lackey has space. Time a problem. One figure's really overexerting himself. Crad needs to get to the side. Yeah, he's actually got another one, and this swing could lead to Glaive going down. They're doing it. Lackey clears him out. Blame so low. One will do it. Lackey gets it. Bomb down one on one. What a turnaround. 2v4. 2v5. Has a smoke and a kit here, Zip. So he has a way out here, a ripcord he can pull if he feels threatened in this situation. Just try and get the defuse under the nose. Uh-oh, that's a very weird smoke. But still, the frag comes to him, and the minister is in. Saves them from a very harrowing defeat. Such a valiant attempt from the two of them. Crad, Lackey, big ups. Not able to put an eighth on the board. Oh, wow. Full flashbang duration. And a bit of a change up this time. We're going to be having Forrester continue to show the presence. That molly, and yeah, not going to give Ellie in the fight this time. Forrester's crept up a little bit here. Quite aggressive behind this smoke. Oh, he's playing a dangerous game this time. Glaive's the one to pull the trigger while His blind. first kill. No. Yeah, that was uh, 0 and 11 for Gra uh, Glaive, so he has been in the grave a lot here. Config, going to grab one back, and finally things starting to wear into action for Astralis. It's another three on five situation. Surely, surely they clean this one up. The and tidy is the objective lackey with a clean and tidy swing. Somehow gets his crosshair there in time. Zipex is gone. Config to fill the void on B. They could afford to. The numbers certainly favor them. And oh, he's run boosting to peak it and <laughs> nearly falls into Farley. Not quite ideal. Crad somehow alive and kicking. Farley not punished. And yeah, that's lackey again. But look at their health. This one ends only one way. And Config's pushed behind them as well here. So surely this one is done. 50 seconds left. There shouldn't be any naughty, naughty plays at a lackey this time round. Mm -mm. Config's gone around the world. He might lose them here to a timing. The bomb can go B. If Lackey runs right now, he could just run in towards the site. Doesn't want to give up the sound cue. Config's starting to understand that this is possible. Glaive's going to make it over to construction for the cross as well. So Lackey's lost that little gap he had. Oh, Glaive just looked away. Oh, he's heard him. Oh, he's seen him. Glaive reports. And now ready for the walk-up. No plants, so Glaive will start getting a little concerned as to where that pesky T is going. And where is he going? Into blame <laughs> is the frag fan. Start to now get that confidence behind him. They can still win the half 8-7, as it is just down to a couple of pistols and one AK-47 in the hands of Lackey here, who is searching towards B. The nade deep, chip damage done. Elian with this deagle, it's already been brutal. Lackey has been sharp. Lackey just taking the standard duel. No funny business. And yeah, Zip has his crosshair where it needed to be. Where's the AK? Says Nickelback. Please give me the AK. Where did it drop? Where did it drop? There it is, right in front of my face. Let me get out of here. And actually, finding a bit of space mid open that will force someone back to CT or the entire team back to CT. But none of them have armor. So if this was to start falling apart, I would send out a howling how. Yeah. No hows required. Ooh. Fast flank config will be there. And you're trying to sell something. Glaive surely going to consider the short walk up as soon as ramp is cleared. This is a fun. Bring it around the rosy. There is a small universe where actually he could. Backstab Glaive if he even considered it. Has Glaive not considered it? He is I think now. they know it's up now. So many unknowns for Alien. There it is. Yeah, it just was piecing it together, right? So the information, if you can find that gap, see if you can punish Config or Zip and just get them to go one and done with the trade. But looks more of the same. Default spread, a 1-1-3. One, one, As Config is searching in middle right here. Oh, catches a bit of a timing. This was 7-3. to three. Could be. And Astralis recovery to a one-out half. Didn't this slew of rounds start with the Farley Deagle? It did. It did. So Entropic can immensely be a little bit hampered here, knowing in the way that they've lost some of these rounds. That was Nuke. That was Nuke all over. Don't forget, we had a full 30-round Nuke with a couple of those oopsies.
Tronus ready themselves to adjust to this B take. They're not ready for Zipex's position. Nickelback unable to trade and two bodies hit the deck immediately. Oh, and there's more to be done. Zip gets a double. The rest should fall into place now. They have the bomb. Estrada's not known to let these slip away. These advantages right on the edge of the smoke. Elliot has to come up clutch. Ace clutch our second map. Yeah, and they can thank Farley for that double eagle and the closeout there to actually set them up for the five consecutive on the way out the door. But let's keep track. Glaive only had two kills in that first half. He's going to be integral with the 1x bet on favor Astralis Farley. here. And yeah, the pistols for the Orphans keep on singing. Yeah, hang on. They haven't finished their meal there. Forrest has got an opportunity, and so has Nickelback. Molotov out for the sandbags. Glaive puts another frag down range. That's his third. Oh, if you're going to stand and fight like this, you to lose a lot of space back and oh, oh blame boy. almost hitting the shot right there so more pressure fell on a lackey isn't afraid he's still pressuring forward and that's enough they're gone though completely gone blame is keeping them both here he could even win the round oh hard jewel doesn't matter licky lackey's gone and yeah nickelback uh, wrong place no teammates and blame is just playing with you he wants to make this as long and drawn out as possible See nickelback you, just ignores him have fun now this position from zip is good yeah, very good. You're not going to be clearing this one on the rounder corner. Goodbye. Nickelback says. <laughs> There's nothing. Don't you pull that That spot that hasn't worked for poor Zip this entire game. T-side or CT, but Nickelback, this would be some clutch on 1 HP, wouldn't it? Yeah, the 1 HP, 1 tap is not to be. I, I, I like it when you're playing on the CT side when there's no Lurk Smoke, because it, it, it's, it's a good for one and done. But when there's that Lurk Smoke, like we saw in the first half, it, it's just a... It's even better when you've got some first contact stairs side. Yeah. That's a, Lure them right in. Yeah, lovely. Line and sinker. This one is a couple of P250s, and Blame has got a molly for their boost. Extinguished. Trying to win their duel, and yeah, the ADAD spam on the top of their teammate's head. Very Cirque du Soleil-esque. Flame's having fun this game. 19 kills and counting for him. More fun to be had, especially with a Mac 10 No armor on these boys. I reckon Nickelback's gonna have a little look at some point. Actually, never mind. Blame has gone down. They've seen Bombs enough. Going. Yeah. Well, they should be going. Config trying to cut off the rotations here. If you're Astralis, you don't want to give over too many more guns, right? You, you've lost Blame, sure. He farmed a lot of cash with the two kills that he got, but you don't want to give over any of these rifles. Entropic are going to be buying next round regardless here, and you'd prefer to give yourself two opportunities as opposed to having to buy back in with two to three people. So Config has dealt with Nickelback now. It's just Elian to find the USP in his hand, and he's actually just upgraded that, hasn't he? Quite the upgrade. Yeah, the P250. Damage done, not the kill, and they will retain three of these Galils. It's only Blame who lost one. We'll make it two incendiaries in play, and not a single defuse kit here, so keep that in mind if we get to the post plants. So many ways this could go wrong for Elian, just with the no armor. Galils, Mag 10s, they'll shred through you, and oh, oh, he heard him, he tagged him, and he jumps at him. Config felt trapped. And the cornered animal leaping through the smoke does lead to an opening pick. But look how much space it's bought them. And Tropic have respected this just because of that pace, right? Oh. Your fireworks. fireworks. Yes, a sky molly there. That's Ooh. beautiful scenes over towards B, keeping Forrester's eyes pressed to the skies. But I was going to say how much space they got towards A if they wanted to just maneuver up and go for an execute here. But this is a chance. The shadow spotted. Zip on notice. Tagged on down. Blame again to work this short position. Smoke in response. Finally testing the water zip up ramp. Saw something. Did. Can still go wrong. Cutting noise. Blame did just lose a little more health than he bargained for on the wall bang. Oh, that's the orb. that? Elian goes down. A bit of an overextension. Farley again with an impactful frag to try and get some space into the site. The whole of Astralis are here, or what remains of them. How many have flashes to get on in here? Yeah, it's a duel that Nickelback has to win and does. And this standoff from Blame and Crad is still going. It's an ongoing exchange Glaive needed to. Unable to provide now, and woof, Blame is looking sharp. You better fear him. Don't give him these fights. The barrel is there if he can isolate now onto Crad. Lackey on site. Now taking the duel. Ten seconds. Blame's got to get out of there. 
considering the save here, but that means they can go and pick up the AWP. Lackey's already tasked with going and doing that. Blaine will hold on to the AK. It gives him something to be threatening with in the next, and there it is, the AWP found from Lackey. So it was the timing there. Nobody was actually watching the top of Crane, and Farley took advantage of that ramp. New expecting players on the jiggle, the reposition of the AWP, but he scoped in towards the top of Crane ramp, and finally just using that Galil to deny him any traction with the big green. Now, they will be able to buy back in here, Astralis. It's not the end of the world, but it is a good response from Entropic early to be able to get the third round of play on their side. Round 19. Let's get into the nitty-gritty now. A couple of sacrifices on the CT side. Nothing perfect either for, uh, for both. Oh, no, very aggressive. Oh, very aggressive. Look at this flash. He's so blind. Convict knows his days were numbered. Nickelback does not hesitate to retreat. He's not looking for a rifle. He's looking for the advantage and to maintain it. And nothing can be gained here. Astralis can't do anything with that. You know somebody pushed me, but where what can you go? What the bloody hell just happened? Oh. Zipex has just given him another man advantage. Extended by what I can only assume was a strafe. Did he fall off the map? I think he might have. We'll try and find his corpse 51 floors down. Or was it a crater into B-steps? Forrester's got another. Farley's gone. Astralis have to recover this one. What is going on? He's had a couple of weird moments this, this half. Ah, we found him. Yeah, he did fall off the map. We don't see that every day of the week. Well, you know, Axel unscrewing his silencer made us all feel like, you know, it's a, it's a pro mistake as well. Yeah, we're all human. Yeah, well, we're all human when it comes to falling off a of vertigo as well. I need to see that one again. I'm sure we will. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, uh, the only way in which he won't feel bad about that is if we see Glaive popping off. He's still alive and kicking one of the 1v4. Well placed, Nade. So much damage done, but surely there's no way into this. I mean, there is no way in. There's a three-man peak at the same time. They're just going to count to three in their heads. If they could stop him planting, that might be... Good plant, all yeah. things considered. Yeah, that yeah. works out nicely, and he is going to have a duel with Nickelback that he cannot win. Okay, that's a bit odd, right? But that was a great aggressive maneuver from Nickelback who opened and then closed the round, right? He was the one that got flashed in for this aggressive maneuver. Here it is. You can see the second flash through the skylight. He turns his back, config steps on up and wasn't expecting somebody close and personal. And this is... Oh. Zip oh. Ah. Oh. I see. I see, I see. Well, you don't... Oh, uh, let's get into round 20 where we, we, we expect to see it all tied up. Is this starting to smell like a third map? Uh, well, I think the next gun round will be very, very telling of that. Now, this is Elian's chance to pluck a couple. Like shooting fish in a barrel, says Config. Your orb is no good for my deagle. So that is a gun lying idle. If Zip can stay alive, if they can just not give over a death, they can start to use this number advantage. And there's another one. Glaive takes down Krat. Okay, pressure's on. Forrester and Lackey have at least found the multi-kill required to even the ship's keel. Farley and Blame F. Now, they're both no, not too shabby on their pistols. No Deagle for Farley, so no more impact in that respect. But Blame's there, top of the scoreboard, in the server. Look at Nickelback. He's just staunch at the top of the ramp, ready to take a fight. He wants to. You get, they get the info. You are committed to this. And that seems to work out wonderfully. <laughs> Who cares? So, it has been important that Ashars have been getting these kills. If they can just win out a round, they can break in Tropic here on the CT side. A two-man B start, three towards middle, and flash again. They're Actually targeting the default. Lackey's taken down Zip. Nickelback's in towards the ladder. They might not account for this. Config, your days could be numbered. Lackey makes his presence known from trajectory. It's a deep smoke. Config has nothing to rat around with that. Nothing at all. And with that, where's that flank? What's the update on that mid space that was taken he's from just Nickelback? just left. He didn't want to give up. Very in-game leader style. Doesn't want to keep pushing the issue. So he's going to drop back, play the number advantage here. Yeah, Krad stands into Farley's spray. A four on four. Elian is posted on sandbags. It was a tight angle. Pressure now as they close the gap. Glaive is on sight. Over the top. Nickelback, a sitting duck, plucked. And a 3v3. We need to see that bomb. It's so loose. It's down towards the lower side of things. They need to go back and get that. This is all over. Yeah, they're so committed and Lackey's good for the double. A triple in total. And by the time Blame arrives, it's all cooked. I think they tried to react off of the B info that was thrown their way, and they reacted fine, but the bomb was just not with them here, and now Blame left in a one-on-three situation. Forrester disconnected from the pack, but standing side by side, Alaki and Elian on A. Blame has a nade. It could be greatly placed on the head of Elian here. 
dead alien. And that's a 1v1. So smooth with it. Anticipates that they stacked A. Oh, and there's some info. Forrester throws out the stop, Molly. This is mind games right now because he had time to go back to B if he wanted here. Does Forrester doubt it or does he just sit and wait? How long does he cut noise? Blame for the 1v3. Forrester. Nice. Noisy. Oh, Blame needs to plant now. Fakes it out. Forrester dancing with him. Five seconds. He needs the kill. And Forrester brave in the face of Blame. Finds us an 11th for Entropic. Wow, what a close round. And it was perfect from Blame. The nade, how could he have known? But then the shot, that was beautiful. And then just flubbed the movement there with the bomb in his hand. This was the aggression from Lackey out the gates here. Tracking Zipex through the smoke. Beautiful stuff from Farley. The miss. Or not to be. That is the question of round 22. Farley straight through mid. Large and in charge is Lackey as he takes two. Slave, a dead man, you just can't win that duel. Even though it was low, right, the Tech-9 at that type of a range, now it's just Blame, again, unfortunately left in the clutch. No fault of his own, he goes out mid, goes for the trade, and everybody else is just disintegrated. As soon as Lackey gets two in mid, that's job done. At this level of Counter-Strike, you're not expecting him to mow down everybody in the Eco Slaughter. It used to be that way. Yeah. Well, that's back in the day before we knew how to put our crosshairs in the right direction. <laughs> Ye olden counter days. Blaine would love something here, and it's not... Oh, so, uh, I'm sorry, it is, it is, obviously, a long-range Tech-9 tap. He's on a heater right now. He is having some great impact within this game. If he can get one more kill and just really grind the gears of Entropic, I've mentioned it a bunch of times, but it may still come in handy, right, if they're able to keep this economy under the thumb. Nickelback is playing this top ledge position again, so for Blame to hit this with a Tech-9, he would have to do something spectacular and unable to convert. Blame goes down 12 now. Two rounds is the lead. Can, can they extend further as the guns come back out? Here's the bop again with the techers at range, and that's a beauty. See that one from the... Uh, he's staying with the Tech-9 here, Alex, so I'm not sure... This may be just to guarantee alien orbs for the rest. We'll find out as this plays out. Two CT smokes to cage the push of Astralis initially. Forrester dispatched to throw bullets down. They really want to repel anything that Astralis wants to create here. There are a lot of smokes on this ramp. And he's given up the fact that he only has the Tech-9 here. I, maybe you assume that that's in the author's hands and he's spamming another smoke thrown on now and they, they've dissuaded this fast A play. It means that Elian will be in support to B. He's already actually over there. Yes. Brad, what are you playing with? He's going for a little pop flash maneuver of his own and yep, back turn, Glaive gone. If Crad can get away, untraded, which he has. Oh, don't speak too soon. A lot of util burn through in this early exchange, but they do leave with an advantage, Chad. Yeah, Forrester's tacking on in towards Elevator Rim to help out A as well. It could be an impending A attack as the smokes are starting to be limped on out. More stall utility. They're going to fight. Yeah. Oh, and Farley's head was spotted. Crad does back up. Elevated. Ready to punish. So many here to receive them. Entropic, this is a big round for them. Farley, another opening. Oh, and he builds upon it. Double entry. And double trouble now because the site is lost. The bomb is planted. Lackey trying to be a little rascal on the fade. Oh, loud. He knows where that angle is. Knows what it means. Blame caught out and punished. Short to be cleared. Oh. He's good for it. Lackey making a round out of this for Entropic. Recovery imminent. Config thrust to clutch. Against the AWP as well. Should be his frag every day of the week, Elian. Posted and delivers 13. It means a lot to Entropic. Easy as you like, Elian will strike. It's the smallest details, a step, a single step. Dismantles the 2v3, aggressive angle, not very bullet friendly. Didn't hit him at all. No. Not those, at all. Those greats are the opposite of, of bullet friendly. Can't think of what that would be. Bullet averse? Yeah, no, maybe. Can you repeat the question? Ah, uh, look, I'm just trying to think. It could be an armored vehicle. Mm-hmm. Either way, Glaive's going to be feeling pretty hard done by here. Now, we hate this angle, or Chad Birchall does. It's not a good angle if they boost. The only problem... and But Elian, if he's quick enough, can hit a gnarly flick, right? It's only a bad angle if they go for the mid-boost on the close box. Still got a gap on this, has he? Very much so. Very much so. They need a good flash, and, well, it's there. And still no spot on Crad. He falls off regardless. The bait and switch they're attempting. They have the man advantage, so there is a balance to be struck here. 
config returning to middle. We know Elian was posted, and he has just given up on that angle as they return. Hard shot to hit, doesn't. Gagur gathered into Conflict's crosshair and the frags come to them. Two quick headshots out of the Danes, a perfect smoke to wrap around. They've got them locked. It's just Forrest on the stairs. If Conflict's gonna catch Nickelback's push. Ooh. Well, they know that Forrest is the B player, right? So head on over, get yourself towards A. Well, eventually. Make sure you can get that bomb down. 20 seconds, no dramas, no qualms, no problems. As Astralis will snatch one back. The close nature of these rounds hasn't completely bankrupted Entropic either. Nickelback with that Tech-9 buy, well, not the Tech-9 buy, the, the, the Tech-9 round, I guess we could call yeah. it, he still has 4.5. Alien still has 5.4. Loss bonus means they will be able to purchase the AWP. Nickelback can buy. Forrester can drop something. And it's all going to work out here for Entropic, unless Hooch wants to play it a little bit more conservative. And the logic behind that, I wonder if that... Because it was off the back of a timer. Nickelback comes in with just that Tech-9. And then they played 4A as if they're expecting just a full-on A biff, which would have been great with the Tech-9 up close and personal. It wouldn't have mattered, right? An AK versus Tech-9 close range, it would have been okay. It's just when it stalled out into the mid-round, it started to become a bit more of a problem. But it just could have been one way to just destabilize Astralis' finger on the economic pulse of when they're against a buy, when they're against a force. Because they Only emissions is a Famous and an MP9. Can they make it work? Time to find out. Looking quick. Glaive going to be leading the pack and jumping straight into Elian. A leg shot. This is the repeat that cost him. This time flashed off. Posted for construction. Smoked and forced away. Astralis have pace. They have config. This was all to set him up to work his magic through the smoke. An underhand and push. It's ballsy. It's a lot of space provided by Config alone. He can re-smoke Ellie. This is suffocating. But a welcome to the feed. Farley gone. Nice from Lackey. Good fight for Config, but he's gone down. It's Forrester that steps up to the mark. They have to clear construction. Blame is good for the frag, combined with Config's early damage. 27 now for Blame. He's doing a great pile of work. Still a 3v2, though. That bomb ticking for Astralis. They can't afford to let this slip. They've got all the bells, the whistles, the incendiaries, and the smokes. And off we go. Glaive, got to be careful for that spread. He is on zip. Dangerously, Zipex one and done. Glaive, the low HP clutch. There's kits. You jumped over one. They jumped over one. They don't have one. Smoke, where is it? Picked up now. They've got a kit. And five seconds, if he could just hit the ball back. If he could just hit Crad. If he can, and he does hit the first. Oh, but they just assume a slight delay in the spray. And near Just covering him slightly, and he gets it through. The buys back in. Under where we go again. Astralis just need one, and they can, they can almost draw this level. If they get one round, they deny the save. Tropic's money will be broken here. Crad is ahead of all that util. So low, playing with fire. Rambury smokes. They're posturing to go on the fade. 27 for Blame. He's doing everything to keep Astralis in this. Nice smoke. Combination of util implies commitment, but the bomb's nowhere near. Pratt's not moving. He's on 28 points of health. He doesn't think he can get away right now, and I feel like he's committed to this position, especially with this Glaive push. He just wants a one and done. And he's got it. Oh, it's a trade, but that's a sacrifice of Blame, who you just said had 27 kills. That's a big name to lose in the feed right here. Astralis is going to have to get it done with everybody else. Farley up to 17, Config 17 as well. Glaive and Zipex, they need to pull up their socks right now. They need them. 45 as they regroup and retool. Only one smoke for the AXQ here, currently on Zip, and a reaggress coming. Glaive will release that crouch and spray upon a flashbang, but they're doing it dry. Oh, and Glaive about to be hunted. It's Forrester, shuts down the leader. Farley coming. The pressure's on them. They have to plant the repeat and reminder for Entropic as that's the frag given to them. And it's Forrester again, just keeping it active in this defense. And another 26, he heard us talking. Unhappy with being the second highest fragger in this server. He is running for Blames 27 as he takes 20. Yeah, Forrester just feels like Entropic's turret. Really can just set him up and watch him go. This is quick. And no Forrester's in support. Crad and Nickelback. Going to try and keep four Danes at bay. And look at this barrage of utility. They're using so much because they're worried about the smoke spams, all the pesky flash pushes that Crad's been going for here. But they were actually operating a little bit more passive. 
They're coming through. Oh, oh the flash is good. Blade for three. Down. It's up to Nickelback. He can't do anything with it. Good cross air on the head. It's nice from Crowd to get one and get away. He's sticking around. He wants to punish. Cancelled. They called a cancel on that. That was their gap. That was their way in. It was just Crowd here now. Elian fortifying this A bomb site. Oh, it's a second bump. Lots so of many nades. nades. Whoa, and Zip does win the duel on short. Crowd was flashed. Elian falling back as the bomb goes down. Doesn't have the lineup for denial. Might call the save here. You don't need to go for this round. You don't need to play the 3v4 post plant situation. You have no idea that Astralis literally just expended every single one of their nades just to get that site control. And you only need the one to pack up your toys, take them home, and try again in the next round of play. Loss bonus for them, only going to be 1,400. So this might get long, these last few. This is where you have to ask some big questions, right? Nickelback, let's do the maths for him right now. He currently has 2,200. He's going to be up at 36 with the loss bonus coming in. I don't think anybody can drop him an M4 at the moment. The same thing with Crad. So maybe Nickelback and Crad operate with some MP9s. Zip will go down with the bomb right there. Not the end of the world. Yeah, no, I was just laughing that he's going to be back where he, uh, he's put himself. Another one off the building for Zip. That was a safety net position from Nickel back there, right? He's actually playing that position. If Crad goes aggressive and that maneuver happens, he's meant to get one and stall it out. And let's go. In Tropic, three more man points ahead of them. Stralis weathered the first. You can see Nickel back lingering in Ellie for steps, trying to keep a count. Crad with the no armor deke. He would love a one and done here. In the same way he operated with that low HP rifle, he's trying his luck on gaps of the smoke. He's re-smoked the same position. Oh, it's actually fallen through right now. It's fallen through the floor here, so he either has to play more forward or drop back, and he's opted to go forward on this. They try and use it like some sort of one way. This is geeky. This is thinking on his toes right here. It could lead to something good. The pop flash is brilliant. We'll hide in the smoke as he waits for vision to return. Elian's Wave. coming back. Could get caught out by this, and just one click is all it takes. They've been pushed away from B. Farley took a lot of damage as they were starting to look for some space. Forrest has pushed forward towards Wood and Elian posted up top ramp. He's going to be smoked on off here. Has to pick his battles wisely. Slurk, smoke and flash is enough to reveal the AWP presence and Blame starts his crawl. Oh, they don't have any smokes left, Astralis. They don't have a single smoke left to execute. What are you meant to do against this AWP and the gambling A? Oh, oh, that's a big pick. Elian misses. Over the edge of the one-way pre-aim by Blame, and now they've lost two of their defensive positions. They can start to walk, and this is a nice little fake. Bomb's going B. It's wide open. Could catch him here on the push. Potentially, yeah. One back is turned, and there's another on ramp. Config, however, has taken down Forrester. That should be the round. They want to try and save this all. Blame's here to really make this hurt. Sure, you've lost the round, but you might lose your AKs too. They do. Nickelback sent back to spawn. Okay, well, Lackey's currently over towards spawn here, and they're leaving the site right now, so they're all hunting to make sure he can't hold on to anything. That's a nice shot, and, and, and Farley's low here, Alex. Lackey does have a kit. The bomb halfway ticked. I think the concerns that Astralis may have had should be starting to filter away. Blame's actually rotated over to be safety net on the bomb here, right? So great stuff from Blame. It should be good for his 30th, and he is. That's with rifles. So now it's just a couple of P250s, a couple of digs, and some light U2. They're going to have to hit some big shots here. Yeah, or take some big risks. Not known to be caught out by this kind of thing. The boost flubbed. Heard as well. Yeah, and that Utah from Crad will at least keep him honest. He's doing a lot with a little here. Blame's overcommitted. Yeah, no lethality. He's pushing. Brad is using that smoke. Ollie's next to him. There's another one here. They're not going to expect him. Maybe. Maybe Crad. Trying to worm his way behind enemy lines. Three people not looking. He does take one. Blame as well. It's a good scout, but the rest should fall into place now. Yeah, the fact that it's just the USP on Nickelback, the two Deagles, though. If you're able to post yourself in the right position, Lackey, he's had a couple of heroic moments throughout this game. He's over towards the scaff position, up at the gap, peering on down with this Deagle, trying to see if he can find a single head, regathering back towards BR, Nickelback, and Forrester as they've opted for the divide and conquer approach here with the pistols. Time would be the only real problem as here you go, some contact taken, some damage done either way, and it's actually going to gravitate them over towards this A site now. A bit more utility for Astralis to operate with in a round like this. 35 seconds. Oh, Lucky really taking his sweet time, but it's led to the demise of Conflict. 
If he gets Brothers. another one, Alex. I mean, yeah, especially at 28 seconds. If Lackey could somehow disrupt this plan. He's been spotted retreating. Still, damage through the smoke. My God, Zipex is 7 HP. He's done a lot here. If only they could have found that lethality because Glaive has come to sweep the rest under the rug. A very threatening presence from Lackey. Everything considered. We're into the final round of regulation, folks. We've been Ooh. here before. Crad looking extremely concerned right there. Default spread again. Aggressive from Nickelback. This has worked before. Ooh, info, but uh, for both ways, both parties. It's config that's dropped down immediately in as if X summoned for assistance. Oh, and blame, he's found another kill. Where did that go down? Elian's lost his AWP. Okay, some massive issues now. He was the only defender on the A side. They had two middle and two towards B. There is so much room. Red carpet right now if they wanted to execute towards A. Oh, recovery required now. Nickelback takes the space on short. Crad trying to throw something to delay, anything to slow down Astralis' is crawl, but now they're actually calling a cancel. They're going elsewhere. Forrester. Forrester. So much to do. Off angle. Back to Being accounted for. Oh, looking, but they adjust. He doesn't find their heads, and this one looks like overtime. Race is on. Charging forward. Crid the frust Crid? Crad the frustrated. Not flashed. Config is. And one does can't get caught, but they're not clearing their corners. Lackey takes one on the clear. And Blame is here to punish Nickelback. Part of this, and his impact was felt late within the piece. And we'll Apex's see. impact was felt in the ground. Yeah, that one was a little bit unfortunate, but some aggression. Oh, hello. Oh, goodbye. What is going on? Everyone throwing their body into the mix. And this could be a quickie. Forrest has provided two. He's still there. Blame knows and looks to punish. Has managed to put the lead in the right place. Blame low because of it. This is a 3v2 chat. This OT just started. Okay, and now Nickelback has got Blame dead to rights. Okay, well, Zipex, a clutch very early on in the piece here and a round that he should go for, right? You don't need to save 12 and a half T's side. They've tried to change the pace out the gates here. Now, Zip will have to find a kill early as part of this, but, well, that's the kill we were talking about. Nickelback goes down. It's going to thrust Zip forward, but both are waiting on the site, Lackey and Elliot, to close this one down. I can't believe Zip just wants to have a little glance. I mean, they are going to push it. They're running at him. Yeah, and that's the end of that. Simple as that. Working as a pushing out through that gap position. They've dealt with this one in style. And Astralis might just go back to the 1-1-3, one, one, where they weigh out the utility. You can see Elian there just listening for how many feet are trundling across that bridge. Crad dropping it again, and he catches the boost, but Blame grabs the first one out. And damage done through the smoke, so they get away with the entry and their lives, Astralis. Okay, that's a change of pace. That boost was mantled very quickly there. You can see Crad going for the same maneuver. And they're continuing to push. Forrester here to be a part of this. That smoke. Gap for Blame to work off. And uh, Molly Molly not going to provide any info. If they were to explode B now, it is just Lackey. Elian is floating on over through spawn, but it might be too little too late. They're going in. Yeah, this is going to be a full commit. Lackey does already put his name in the feed, and he's already repelled the invaders. If they want to fight him. They have to get through him. Double from Lackey on the defense. Elian, good for one onto Glaive. I know it looks like Config's been cut short as well. Forrester wrapped around. Such a quick flank from Forrester there. He just beelined it. It was the W key being stuck on down. And it's not something he's been doing a lot in regulation. Farley's going to clear him. It's just a question of who can click quicker. And Forrest is good for it. So, two of the three. And so those five opportunities slip away. They've got three opportunities here in Elian, keeping his ears peeled. Crad is not going to be too dejected after losing to that boost. He's still trying some funny business. And on the edge of the smoke, catches Glaive. A coordinated opener and a very nice response. I don't know sure what he saw right there, but it doesn't matter. Pulled the trigger, nickel back down, and Crad sticking around. Lots of fun and games around the smokes here on Vertigo. So many resources towards A in these last couple. Like Forrester hanging around here, Crad still forward. There is a timer on that. He's so brave around the smokes as well. Starting to progress up short. Ooh, doubling short here. This is nice. Oh! <gasps> Do you stick with it? I think, I, I'm not sure. Not anymore, that. you don't. No, they know. Molly from Config could have forced the, the hand anyway. Oh, that Molly didn't land, so pressure. Starting to heat up now in OT. It really is. They are feeling flustered. I like this boost. Forrester will not have too much vision. It's deep enough. 
but as it fades, he will have the off angle. Can they keep them at bay? Pop flash turned. Crad two on his plate, and he brings the fight to them. Config was ready. Handles business. Smoke's gonna be fading shortly. Elian catching one. Farley's orb is denied, and Forrester on this boost spot is good for the double. Astralis leave this T side with nothing, unless Blame can find everything lacking. They have to cross three consecutive rounds required of Astralis here to go OT number two. Well, this one will be going straight towards map number three. Blame this time with the swap of sides is going to be an aggressive presence. Yeah, Blame didn't have much luck in this position. Let's see if Glaive can change that. Look at the nade. Big damage done and more to follow. Glaive knows what's coming. Ready to disrupt. So many smokes. Yeah, this is fruity now. Very fruity. I think you might want to back off here because the smoke's going to fade for both teams simultaneously. Another awkward one is going to leave a massive void. They can even boost on over the top of that around the back and no kill has gone either way even though it feels like there's just been a battle for this forklift position. Still two smokes on CT and Farley is responsible for mid side. You can see Crad lining up something special here. Yeah, this is going to land top scaff here to push anybody back. Currently nobody home but here they come off the swing. Lave. Finds Nickel. Saw a lot there. A lot of information for him to relay. And they love this angle from Blame. He's just backing himself on this one, and Lackey not prepared for it. Bodies are dropping left and right. It is Forrester, though, still alive and kicking. He's one to be feared. They can drop back still, and if they go towards B, it's just zip. It's been a full rotation over towards A. They've left middle completely. Farley, Config, and Glaive all currently on the A site, and Krad's already starting to work up the stairs. Zip worried about middle. He has a lot of pressure points right now, Zip, and he's on his own. He really does. You'll hear them start calling for backup. He can't go down without a kill, or it's a three on three. They're into the site. They've cleared quad. They're all posted up looking for Zip, and that's the Elian orb. It. it could very well be it. Bomb needs to be planted. Jumping, Info Crad has an opportunity and takes it. Forrester, tip of the head, hard shot for Harley. He needs a rifle, finds one now, two on two. Time ticking in favor of Entropic to force it to three, and we're off.